Hi. How are you? This is another Monday. One of those where I try to push you to say, let's get it. Let's get them. Let's get it. Let's get it right. Because the beginning of the week sometimes is a bit tiring because people have been on the weekend. People went out eating. They ate too much. They don't know what to do with their stomachs. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hi, Brandy. Oh my God. Long time, girl. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway <laughs> anyway this is to get you started it's a monday and let's get the winnings and let's get going and uh, for this week i'm actually going to talk about um some things that actually have kept me stuck in what in some things that i want to do and um i'll tell you for fact thinking about the past and um focusing on it especially if you're a person once in a while hi me and uh <laughs> if you're a person once in a while who was caught up in this of um, of success caught up in success and then suddenly you lost something and then you keep looking back oh my god you know what uh i'm good beautiful <laughs> thank you baby i miss yours too and hey invite me when there's a tony robbins event i really want to come <laughs> i know you get good tickets <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, this is this is one thing that I actually learned from uh, from one of my from one of the great teachers that I know. Well, when somebody teaches from the Bible, I kind of think they are great because they are speaking from something higher. No offense to those who are not Christian, but this is just what I think. But um, this guy was saying exactly like what I thought. When you focus on what happened, on something that was good in the past, you fail to actually come to the you fail to come um oh my god the danish has eaten up my english you fail to move forward because your focus is on what happened before and you're stuck in that thought of thinking i was great you know what i can still do it but you know what i can you know people who have been successful in the past but now they're not really crushing it they just forgot the whole deal they'll always want to tell you you know if you want to succeed in this just do this and this and this and this and, this. and then you ask them but why aren't you yourself doing this the truth of the matter is they got stuck in the past and there's one thing that gets us stuck in the past from what this this uh person this man was actually saying he was saying when we fail to forgive ourselves for what we did wrong we get stuck in the past when we forget to actually uh, recognize that the past is in the past that is the time that has been cut off from us and our way to go is actually moving forward those are some of the things that keep us right in the same place where we where we get stuck if i can say it like that so from what he said i actually thought you know what uh, as human beings we are actually like a hundred percent if i can say it as in when you're normal you're acting on 100 percent and this 100%, it's filled with energy. And you can choose which energy you're going to actually pump into this 100%. So I'm going to try and illustrate using uh, this glass and some juice and some water. I hope I can drink it. No, this can is for my flower, so I won't drink this. <laughs> so, if this is you, like, when you started, your, your water was really, like, so clean. Let's take it the other way. You were like clear like water. Hmm? This is your good energy. It's filled 100%. It's good energy. You keep pouring in good energy. Tell me, is this changing color? Mm -mm, it's the same. You keep pouring good energy. You'll be in overflow with good energy. And then you start mixing with people who don't support your vision. You start mixing with people who don't even believe in you. You start, be you start uh, walking around with people who actually crush your vision. People with another kind of energy. You start per I'm not saying this juice is bad. It's actually a brain juice. So I love it. But I'm giving this as, a, as an illustration. If you meet with people who have other kinds of energy, what happens? 
You don't become as you were before. You start pouring in different things. Hmm? Another one comes, they pour in another spirit in you. Ah, oh, we are friends. We're just friends. Yeah, but she drains my energy a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Ah. Ah. You know, they told me that I cannot do this and this and this and this and, you know. So when you get stuck in that moment where you are believing that what you did in the past, you are failing to forgive yourself, you will allow anyone to do this to you. Anyone. Because you haven't forgiven yourself and you haven't let go of the past, you will start changing inside. And the outside will actually show. Oh my God, these children. <laughs> it's two seconds, I'm sorry. I have to attend to that. Who's here? I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about that. But that's what happens. And again, the moment you start forgiving yourself and you start understanding, you know what? I'm human and I can make mistakes. And yes, what I did in the past is in the past. Let me cut off that slack which was there before. Let me move on as in let me just find another thing to do. You start pumping in your energy. You start pumping in little by little. And you know what you start doing again? Pouring in the good energy. Now you have to watch what will happen to this class. You mix with people who have the same energy as you. You are 100%. That you don't have to forget. You are 100%. And whatever you put in has a way of changing who you are. The friends you are with. The things that you do. The time you wake up. It, all those small, small things have an effect on how or and who you become. So, if you want to get back to that energy where you're actually going to move faster again, forgive yourself, let go of other things that are not good for you because the moment, the moment you actually start letting go of things that are not good for you, you become clear. Your energy becomes again something good. So, cut off the past. Learn to forgive yourself and learn to forgive other people. Try to cut, try to get into a new state. This is something that I actually really want to work on because I've been stuck in one decision for quite a long time. And I guess the reason is I've been thinking, no, I'll just bottle some of this past which this person has done to me. I'm just going to bottle it in here. But then there's no space for me to put more water if this bottle is full. It's 100%. And the moment I put in anything extra, it's actually just going to dilute and let other good things fall out of me. So look, I'm losing. If these are opportunities and I'm putting something that is not good, unforgiveness, unkindness, grudges, I'm keeping them. I'm keeping my 100% away. You see, I'm sharing it with dirt. I'm sharing it with things that do not benefit me. So it's time to let go of things that are not good for you. It's time to just wash yourself in. Good friends. Change your friends if they're not giving you good energy. Replace them. Replace them. Forgive. Forgive. Let things go out. You know what? I've got a new slate. I want to try something new. Try. I'm going to try to pretend nothing ever has happened in my life. Like something bad. I'm going to try and start. A, I'm going to try and start something anew with someone. I'm going to try and just forget everything that happened. Let me see if I'm going to win. <laughs> but I'm ready anyway to throw out all the blame. I'm ready to throw out all the past. I'm ready to try and start anew. I think this is the way to get your glass full with the right stuff, the right content. So I'm going to try and I'll come back with the results. And when it's a testimony, I'm going to share what really it is I'm talking about. But take it upon yourself to think about the situation that you're in. If there's something that you have, if there's something that is keeping you stuck, look at it with two eyes. Try and get it out of your system. Try and have a new sled. Try and start from the beginning again and see what happens. I'm not saying go into an abusive relationship and get abused and abused again, even when you know this person, they're not even working on changing. I'm not saying that. 
what I'm saying, if you see hope, go for it. And sometimes when you didn't see hope, but then you have passion, you believe that this person or maybe uh, that thing will eventually change, the situation will change, go for it. Why not? We are all human beings. We all need forgiveness at one time or another. So keep your energy at 100% with only good stuff. Stop pouring in what you don't need because it's just going to get you stuck in one place. That is what I had for you today. So there will be no loss because this demonstration, I think, is good enough to make it stick for a long time. So be fruitful and be greatness. And Brandon, remember, girl, that event, if it's coming, please hello me. <laughs> so this is Lydia and I'm saying be fruitful and be greatness. Thank you very much. I love you and take care of yourselves. Have a lovely, lovely week. I hope this is going to get you started to next week. Goodbye.